Man, is it hot out here. Just a couple more days and I'll be done with this stupid community service center. 80 hours. How ridiculous is that? And why hearts and homes? I'm gonna burn out here. Not to mention my allergies. I mean, couldn't they have given me something indoors? Hey, can you hand me that pencil? I mean, I have things to do, a life to live. Yet, here I am, slaving away. And for what? Maybe you could think of it as, I don't know, an opportunity to help someone else. Help? No one ever helps me out. Hey, bud, can you give me a hand? I work for what I have, every bit of it. <laughs> My dad always said, if you want something in this, this life, you gotta go all out for it, you know? Give it the gusto. Give it everything you got. How about giving me that hand? I mean, I bet you this lady's never even held down a job a day in her life. I can picture it now, her sitting around all day, watching the soaps, talking on the phone. You'll never catch me sitting around doing nothing, Valley. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I mean, I bet you I'm already paying this woman's grocery bill with my taxes. I have to build her a house now, too? <laughs> have you ever even met Miss Gable? Who needs to? They're all the same. Lazy. Lazy and self-centered. <laughs> Lazy. Interesting assessment. <laughs> Anyways, why doesn't poor Mrs. Gable just go out and get a job and pay rent like the rest of us? She burns me up when people take advantage of us like that. Wait, what did you say you're, you work for again? Uh, I'm an attorney. I represent insurance companies. Hmm. Anyway. I bet you this woman's got 50 fictitious reasons why she's better than everyone else and doesn't have to earn her own way. I actually heard she had to go on disability about a year ago. That was pretty hard for her to accept. Let me guess. She's been clinically diagnosed as allergic to work. Do you know how frustrating it is to work, sweat, and toil against the backdrop of someone who's just there? Who doesn't contribute anything at all? I can't imagine. <laughs> Man, one of these kinds of things have to happen to me. I've got okay. something in my eye. <laughs> you okay? Man, this place is dangerous. If I have any problems, I'm taking someone to the court for everything they've got. <laughs> Matthew 7, 3 says, And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank that is in your own eye? 